Take a listen to that. Fans out there celebrating England's win in the World Cup against Senegal 3-0. They're hoping for their first World Cup championship since 1966. Harry Kane, who was leading who was leading the pack as the leading scorer at the last World Cup in 2018 in Russia, scored his first goal yesterday in Qatar. The victory sets up a heavyweight match against France in the quarterfinals on Saturday. France won the entire thing back in 2018. So England may play that match without its forward, Raheem Sterling. He left Qatar and returned to Britain after a break-in at his home. Police said that they are investigating the burglary and no threat of violence was involved. There were media reports of armed suspects, but police say that they had no witnesses or reports to that effect. So the first round of the knockout stage is almost complete. Take a look at the brackets right now. Japan, Croatia are still at it. The game is going to be decided by penalty kicks after the score remains one to one, even after extra time. This is the first game of this World Cup that will be decided by penalty kicks. And then today at 2 p.m. Eastern, World Cup favorites and five-time champs Brazil they're going to take on a surprise team, South Korea. South Korea made it to the semifinals in 2002. Tomorrow will be the final slate of games for the round of 16. The 2010 World Cup champion Spain will take on Morocco. And the day will end with Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal facing Switzerland.